Hey now, Taurus, this is Jenna Flower from Abundance Amplified Tarot and more. What do we got going on here for you guys? Let's see. Ah, well, we got a ding there coming in. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords in reverse. Wow, you guys have moved past some really devastating things here. Um, I also have this Ace of Pentacles coming in and this Two of Pentacles. Okay, so what you might not see is how much you've gained from all this work that you've been doing. Um, you guys have really moved past some devastating things and gotten some clarity, either for the good. For some of you, I feel like it was kind of an alert, like, holy crap, I've got to fix this too. Um, like, I'm not happy. I have to do something about this situation. I feel like you've been juggling a lot, trying to make some decisions here. Know that in the future, you've got messages coming in. You're going to have options, baby. Okay, we've got this Two of Wands. Everybody keeps getting either the Two of Swords or the Two of Wands. Um, you guys are understanding how to forge your own way here. Okay, and I feel like you have messages gonna, that are coming in that are going to give, give you either new opportunities or they're going to remind you of a perspective. And just changing your perspective is going to help you get out of this juggle state here. Um, I feel like you've understood that you have been working like way too hard here. Notice all these wands we have out with the two and the nine that takes you into 11. It's like past the harvest. You're, you're really, um, I feel like you're really like, you're kind of over something. Okay. You're over it and you want to move forward. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of, uh, conflict in your heart space here. And you've really been calling out for some kind of clarity, some kind of relief here. And you're like, where the hell is it? Right? Like, what is happening here? Okay. Let's find out what's happening for you. Oh, give me one second here. All right. We've got the bridge coming up here. Okay. And... This is about integration. This is about understanding that what you are doing and what you are trying to accomplish um, is has both an internal and an external view here. This is what I'm getting for you. Okay? You have forgotten to make yourself happy here. All right? Some of you um, have had abandonment issues in your past. And you could be feeling like you're doing something all alone. I, although I feel like you're surrounded by a bunch of people here. Okay. You're being called to remember your happy spaces. What makes you happy? Asking the right questions can sometimes be really, really helpful. We've got here and now. So it's about, you know, how do you feel right now? What do you want to do right now? Okay. Sometimes when we make ourselves small... And don't express our needs and our wants and and um, our desires, our truth, okay? We think that we're helping other people, but we're really not, all right? You have to be truthful in the moment, here and now, and that helps everybody. Otherwise, you're almost enabling like a codependency thing, right? If you don't speak your truth. We've got breathe, okay? Breathe and understand that everything is going to be okay. Yeah, I've got co-create in the reverse. Some of you could be working with somebody that's coming, you know, that partnership might be coming to an end. Or you could be on a project that you were really excited about and it didn't pan out. And you, you know, again, we've got messages coming in and we've got conflict here. So... You guys could be receiving messages that could be bringing in some conflict for you. Or you could be receiving opportunities that are going to cause conflict around you. And that causes conflict in you internally. Okay? Remember this orphan over here. Okay? It's, it's, there, this is an abandonment. Okay? This isn't you abandoning people to move forward. This is you making yourself happy. You're actually... You are actually lighting a path for other people to follow. And you can do it in a very gracious way. And I believe, Taurus, that you know very well how to do that. Okay? It's about your heart space here and trust. Okay? This is the path. You have to trust the path that's been put in front of you. You know? Yeah, I've got this line of coins coming in again. 
I'm asking for one more card here. Champion of Swords. Okay, so basically you're afraid of your own truth here is what's happening. And what's and the problem with that is, is that you're ready to harvest here uh, something pretty spectacular that could be coming in. And if you stay, if you stay in denial, okay, it's not, you're not going to bring it into, into fruition. Okay, yeah, we've got the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you not to you. Okay, we also have Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, and Teacher. By moving forward in your authenticity, you're, out, you're actually lighting a path for others to do the same. Okay, you're actually showing people how to do it. Okay, all right. And again, I don't necessarily subscribe to God here, making it God's, but... Um, higher self, source, whatever works for you, okay? Release the idea of my. As soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives. When there is no grasping, the right actions can get can be shown, right? Free from my prison of my, okay? Or free me, okay? It's, it's getting a little bit of distance here so that you can see from the higher perspective here okay right what is good for you what is not good for you what makes you feel good okay what is you know start asking yourself the right questions do i want this energy in my life for the rest of my life right do i want it in my energy next week okay how can I shift to get past that energy? Yeah, we've got this nine of swords again. This is this is really about you seeing what you want and having the ability to express yourself in a way that um, is vital to your heart space, is in your truth. Um, so I encourage you to do that. I encourage you to take the time out that you need to figure this out because this is life changing is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I've got the forest here. Uh, you know, are you seeing the forest through the trees? Whatever you're sitting in right now that might feel um, uncomfortable for you, you either are to grow with it, grow through it, or grow past it, right? Okay. I'm still getting, I'm getting this running theme of abandonment. Like maybe for some of you, you want to move past the situation and you're you're scared of abandoning that person or, you know, I would suggest um, there are ways to help build people up. There are ways to uplift, okay? You know, just shifting the energy or the intention just a little bit can sometimes um, be really helpful here. We've got trust again. I can't make this up. When love is invited to take over, right? Actions arise at the right time. Okay. Allow me, dear divine, to wait patiently until all the timing is right. Let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. Okay. I hope this has been helpful. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you're into it uh, and feel called to do so. Please donate to the channel. It's always helpful. It goes back into the channel and other good things. I guarantee they're always good things. Um, take good care of yourselves, take care of each other, and as always, be kind out there.